let's talk about the good old vitamin A. Uh, we're just going to cover the basics of the vitamins. Uh, there's a lot of information out there. Uh, I just want to touch on the main points about each one, uh, starting with vitamin A. Uh, so here are the basics. I drew the structure on this one. Uh, I didn't do a lot of the structures for the other ones simply because um, this one you can tell you have this long hydrocarbon chain. Uh, you see you see the ring uh, with long tail off of it. That's going to have a lot of carbons. When you have a long carbon tail, you know it's going to be more fat soluble. It's going to be more lipophilic, meaning it likes the fat. So you have a hydrophobic, meaning it's afraid of water, tail. Um, also notice that I have ileum here. Uh, the fat soluble vitamins are going to be more absorbed in the ileum. And I am going to touch on a key topic. Uh, the fat soluble vitamins <clears throat> are going to be A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. And I will say this after each single one. Hopefully it'll stick. Vitamin A, D, E, K. Uh, vitamin A also does a, have a toxicity to it, um, not very important, just know that you don't want to consume too much vitamin A. Uh, included are the forms of retinol, retinal, retinoic acid, and pro-vitamin A uh, carotenoids. Um, not as important as well. So t how do we get vitamin A? Well we get it in the form of retinol and carotene. Uh, you may you may already know that carrots are a good source of vitamin A uh, in the carotene form, especially beta carotene. Your mom might have told you, uh, if, if you want to have good eye vision, consume a lot of carrots. So that's where it comes from. Here are the daily recommendations. Um, again, not as important, but do notice that there is a daily upper limit. Uh, oh, and daily upper limit is in the retinol form. Uh, beta carotene, you can eat uh, almost unlimited carrots and your body will get rid of it. Uh, in the retinol form, not so much. So what are we going to eat to get um, vitamin A? Well, I have listed here, I'm not going to read it off the screen, but uh, I do want to point out that beta carotene uh, does get converted eventually to retinol by the body. Um, and you get it through fruits and veggies, so thus your carrots. Functions. What are the functions of vitamin A? Well, a lot of them here. Uh, I do want to touch on two in particular. Uh, yes, it is used for growth and differentiation. Uh, it is used for immune system. However, the big one, the boards, any test question should test you on vision of vitamin A. Uh, it's also used in hematopoiesis. And it's also used in skin health. Um, both wrinkle and acne. Uh, it, for skin, it's used for gene expression and differentiation. Uh, and then there's an interesting drug here, isotretinoin. Uh, that's going to be your most effective, your strongest ally in the fight against acne. Uh, it's also pretty toxic and pretty nasty stuff. But it's simply a 13 cis retinoic acid. So vitamin A. It's a form of vitamin A. That's all it is. Isotretinoin. And then also at the very bottom I have listed antioxidant activity. Uh, if you hear antioxidant you'll want to think vitamin E. Don't think vitamin A for the most part. Uh, if you hear antioxidant and they say what is the vitamin most associated with it? Think E, not vitamin A. Uh, so here we go. Vitamin A in the eye. Like I said, this is going to be the big one. Uh, you'll have vitamin A in the retinal form, AL form, and uh, what will happen is you have this 11 cis retinal, I meaning you have an 11 cis bond at the retinal uh, molecule. And then that combines with opsin to form rhodopsin, and rhodopsin is going to be found in the rods of your eyes. So the black and white, the night color, or the night vision. Uh, Color is going to be with the cones. Black and white is going to be rods. Rods have rhodopsin. Rhodopsin. Think rods, think rhodopsin. So this is going to be the 11 cis form. And this is going to be excellent for seeing in the dark, seeing, you know, black contrast uh, rods. All right, so what happens? Well, light's going to enter into your eye. You have this 11 cis and opsin combination. So you have rhodopsin. This 11 cis part 
is going to be converted to an all trans. So the cis and the trans is just uh, the rotation around a bond. Um, it's going to rotate to an all trans position. And what that's going to do is it's going to send a signal to your brain. Then eventually your body, through a series of enzyme steps, will convert that trans back to an 11. It can act again. It'll bind again with opsin, forming rhodopsin again, and, uh, and be able to pick up light again. But notice that when, 11, when light hits the eye, 11 cis retinol will dissociate from opsin, converting to an all trans, which is inactive, but that'll send a signal to the brain. And uh, here's my citation for vitamin A, also along with my medical school education. Thank you very much.